Welcome to the basement. I'm glad you're here with me right now. Gold, silver investors, everyone who wants to look at things through a critical lens, you are in the right place. And who do they think they're kidding? Are they kidding you? Are they kidding me? Are they kidding this monkey? They're telling us the economy is great, right? Yeah, that's making the dollar go up in value. That makes the price of gold and silver go down. But is the economy really that great? I mean, a half million jobs created? Wow! Now, we could tear those numbers apart all day long, but those are kind of fudgy, make-believe type numbers. What about the real numbers, the ones that are much, much more difficult to fudge? Let's take a look at Google. Did you know Google is the world's largest advertising platform and a big big part of that is what you're watching right now with me here in the basement YouTube those ads you're forced to watch at the beginning of every video that's a major source of income revenue for Google and guess what in the fourth quarter right October November December of last year their revenues from YouTube advertising dropped nearly 10 percent they can't fudge that number. And let me reiterate, it dropped 10%. And that's YouTube. That was projected to grow and grow and grow. That's the future. People are consuming more videos like you are right now. And the revenue, that's the amount of money that companies were willing to pay Google to put ads on YouTube videos. It dropped by 10%. What is that telling us? That's a real number. That's telling us the economy's not so great because those companies, their sales are struggling. So they're going to cut back on advertising. They're going to cut back on manufacturing as well. When we look at the real numbers like that, and I've got one more I want to share with you as well, it tells us the economy's not so strong. And hey, you and I, we know we're out there, right? We're trying to make a living, buy food, provide for our families. It is getting very difficult in the economy right now. But let's look at another data point. In this one, there's no way they can fudge it. Federal Express, one of the biggest shipping companies in the United States, in the world. I've got this story here from a company called uh, Freight Waves, and it said basically FedEx has announced they're going to furlough more of their drivers in their LTL division. That means less than a full load. Those are the big 40-foot trailers you see driving down the highway. If somebody just has a big enough load for maybe a half of that or a quarter of that, they'll ship it on the LTL market, and it is dropping precipitously. And that's the second time they furloughed drivers within the last 60 days. What does that tell us? That tells us business is slowing down in the United States. Less shipping, less commerce, less volume of transactions. Here's what the company had to say. They said they were doing this in an effort to, quote unquote, align our workforce with operational requirements. Basically, we don't need the drivers because we don't have the business. So how do you feel about all this? I mean, does it make sense, right? Google's reporting ad revenue way down. FedEx laying off, furloughing drivers because business has slowed down. Talk to anybody in the real estate business. Do you see a lot of houses for sale? Do you see a lot of business going on in the real estate business? What about the car business? All we're getting are reports of massive volume slowdowns within the car business. But at the same time, the government keeps telling us everything is great. Everybody has jobs. The economy is expanding. It just doesn't seem to make sense. And at the end of the day, I think we're smart to believe the real data we're getting as opposed to blindly listening to what bureaucrats are in Washington are telling us. Now look, I could be dead wrong and I'm not predicting, you know, a, a complete co collapse end of the world type scenario, anything like that, but we need to be alert and we need to be aware as to what's going on. Furthermore, from a silver and gold perspective, 
That's the cover that they're using, this, oh, the economy's so strong that we can keep up with this tight, tough monetary policy. It's keeping the dollar going up and it's hurting the price of precious metals or putting a, uh, a tamper or a governor on the ability of precious metals to go up to the value where we know they should be. Does it feel like we need to keep our eyes wide open right now? We do want to protect ourselves. We do want to make sure we aren't caught off guard by a sudden slowdown in the economy. I know a lot of us, we buy precious metals, we buy precious metal mining stocks. Just keep making smart decisions, you know, get yourself out of debt if you can, uh, keep your skills sharp, keep your health good, keep your relationships good. We'll make it through all this because I'm telling you, I think we're headed towards some rocky times in the next, let's say, six to 18 months. One thing for sure, you know I'll be here for you through it all. I always appreciate you joining me here in the basement. I'll see you next time. Thank you.